Naya's question is, is channeling hard in your human body? So she asked that last night. And the answer is sometimes it can be because you have to keep in mind that you are acting as an instrument or a conduit for extremely high vibration, divine energy. And that energy, just by its nature, is of a higher signature than our physical body. Source energy, divine energy, archangelic energy, high vibration, interdimensional energy is higher in signature than this mortal coil or this mortal body that we have. So yeah, if, if, if we act as a conduit or if we act as an instrument and that energy runs through the body and then is expressed out of it, it can actually short circuit the body. It can actually burn us out. And so that's why you have some people who do readings. Part of that process can be channeled and is channeled whether the reader knows it or not. And some people who, who channel, who at the end of their sessions are very tired, they're fatigued, sometimes they're achy, and that's because the instrument has just been totally used by this divine energy. Does it always have to be that way? Absolutely not. Before I talk about that, let me just say that back in the day, and when I say that, I mean back in the day of spiritualism, back in the 1800s, 1900s, theosophy, um, seances, when we had all these mediums, and we had, this, we had the uh, Psychical Research Society like Sir Arthur Conan Doyle and William Crooks going out and investigating all these mediums to find out which ones were legit. A lot of the legit mediums, a lot of the legit psychics were actually very, very sickly. And some of them died quite early. That's because they didn't really understand that they had to fortify the physical instrument. They had to do all those things that we kind of talked about at the beginning of this program in order to take care of themselves, not the least of which is taking in a lot of pure water and eating a lot of high vibrational foods, getting out into sunshine, getting out into nature. They didn't necessarily understand that that was part of the process because this is your, your emotionality. Let me just say your emotionality. The way that you feel, the way that you think, your patterns of thinking, the way that you are, your method of being is all trainable. It's like a muscle and if you develop it and work with it and break through, you can make it stronger and you can have it last longer. It's the same thing with channeling. It's the same thing with psychic abilities. You can work with all of these to include the physical body in order to make it stronger and allow it to hold the high signature that you are working with. If you notice that when you are immersing yourself in any kind of spiritual activity, it doesn't even have to be channeling, it can be something like meditation, it can be prayer, but you're rendezvousing, aren't you, with high vibrational energy. If you notice that after that encounter you're tired, this is your clue that we have to be getting in touch with the language of the body to see what it needs. Again, the body is always talking to us. And if we ask the body, what is it that you need to be fortified, to be able to adequately hold the energy with which we're working, the body will respond. If you ask this kind of question in meditation, you're gonna to wanna to immediately pay attention to anything that comes through. Here again, might just be a color, could be the color red. Well, maybe that color has to do with the type of foods that you need to eat or the type of energy that you need to run. Irrespective of what comes through, pay attention to it. Your body and spirit will give you everything that you need in order to be able to do the work that you're being called to do. You're not called to it unless you can do it. You're also not called to it unless you can thrive in doing it. However, so many light workers, me included, get sidetracked by life, by relationships, by jobs, by stresses, and we click out of alignment. And when we are out of alignment and not paying attention to all the things that we need to do to take care of this triune system that we're running, that's when we are more susceptible or more vulnerable, if you will, to have the body break down. This is why. Uh, it is not a coincidence that so many psychics or people who are actively in the energy also develop autoimmune disorders. I have three. How many do you have? I think I asked this early in the program. How many do you have? I've got three. Once you get one, you're predisposed to more. 
I've also talked on YouTube and in various places that as we progress in the shift and in the ascension, you're going to notice energetic illnesses on the rise, things like MS, also things like depression and anxiety, just metabolic types of conditions. The body is in flux, whether you're working with spiritual energy or divine energy or not. We are taking in the ascension energy that is currently flooding this planet, this galaxy, this dimension, all of these octaves, and our physical body is going to be impacted to that. So it's, a, it's kind of a complicated answer. It doesn't have to be. Many people get super rejuvenated after they channel. How many of you get really rejuvenated? That might be you. But if you're finding that you're getting tired, that's your clue, that's your indication that you want to go and shore up the physical instrument. You might need to eat a different way. You might need more fluids. You might need more rest. You might need some supplementation. Figure out what that means for you. Take care of yourself and you should be able to hold that energy. To learn more about me, the services I offer, and also my online spiritual community, please visit me at crystalandcompton.com. See you there.